All right, Coach, a big second half for you guys. You know, it was tied 32, uh, you know, after one half, I guess. What was the biggest difference for you guys, you know, being able to pull away a big double-digit win today against Adams? Well, we were so amped up all week to play the game. We, we kind of came out a little bit uh, lack of energy. I feel like we're running in mud a little bit. But we settled in at halftime and uh, found, our, found our rhythm in the second half. Jared, the uh, announcer slipped up a little bit, didn't introduce you, uh, but you came out on the court and uh, made a name for yourself right away today. What can you kind of just say about your hot start and uh, the way it you know, helped you guys uh, hang in right away in the first half? Uh, just a good week of practice. I think we all wanted to come out and make a statement by playing Adams. They beat us here the past three years at home, and we didn't want to make it a fourth year, a fourth year so just wanted to come out and set the tone at home. Kate, you were 6-9 uh, and nine from three. I think you hit four of them there in the first half. I guess what can you kind of just say about the way you were feeling? Oh, I would like to thank my teammates to get, to get the ball. I mean, that's the first thing. They, they're the ones making the passes. And, but what Jerry said, it was just I wanted to come out shooting well. I wanted to come out with a ton of energy because this is a big big game. and It's a big rivalry for us. So. Chief, it seemed like kind of a frustrating game for you, uh, You know, not really being able to convert much from the field. And it seemed like they were all over you. I guess we can kind of say about the way the rest of the team uh, stepped up and uh, you know helped you guys through when uh, you didn't have your best stuff out there. Well, I mean, I can't complain if we're going to win the game. I mean, we're going to win, we're going to win, I'm not going to, you know, these guys stepped up, I mean, we're a deep team, a great team, anybody can step up on any given night, so, what else to say, did a good job of protecting the house today. Coach, how nice is it when you, you can see all that depth up and down the stat sheet and just out there on the court, guys making hustle plays, uh, you know, when a, a few other guys maybe don't have their best stuff like Chief? Uh, the balance scoring is a staple of Fort Lewis basketball for years, so, it's great to see the balance scoring. And Chief did have his, have good stuff tonight. It's just you know, they have a lot of big bodies that are running on them, and they're doubling and everything. So uh, I think Chief stayed very patient, uh, and, and we kept getting the ball into some shooters' hands, and he was and we were able to make some shots so uh, and loosen things up. And I think that's why he had a really good last 10 minutes. Coach, uh, you know, 15 and 25 from three, uh, you feel like that's indicative of what the guys are capable of doing, especially on the home floor? Well, that's, all, that's an awfully nice percentage, 15 and 25. Um, but we were ready to play the game. We had a good week of practice uh, when we knew what we had to do. So, yeah, I, I think we can shoot the ball. We all think we can shoot the ball. So uh, I don't know if we can do it 15 and 25 every night. We take that every night. <laughs> uh, but with that said, you know, we do have some quality shooters on our roster. Yeah. For you players, what can you kind of just say about matching up with their athletes and then being able to pull away uh, the way you guys did in the second half? Uh, I'll just say just good team defense. You know, we've been working a lot on helping recover. So we know we may be disadvantaged with speed at times, but, you know, with Chief back there, you know, if we talk, we know we can guard anyone, any team. Was it nice for you guys uh, just having the one game to focus on this week? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> used to two. Yeah, used to two, but... We'll take one. Yeah. Next day, bro. Coach, you talked about extending some guys' minutes because they only uh, with only one game this week. I guess uh, what can you kind of just uh, you know say about what that kind of did for your rotations today? Uh, I guess it's not really uh, we're not con we didn't consciously do it, but d down the stretch there, when you know you don't have to play tomorrow night, uh, you're able to uh, play play some of the guys that have a good lather and let them keep going and playing. So maybe some of the minutes would have been a touch different if we played it. Game tomorrow night, but you know we held a team that's averaging 91 points to 73 points, and they, you know some of the threes at the end. But uh, defensively, probably our best game of the year. So. Another big conference win for you guys. Uh, get a week to prepare. Another uh, doubleheader next weekend before a little bit of a break. I guess which is kind of the mindset of the team right now. Uh, you know, going in for these last two games before a little bit of a break. Just keeping focus mainly. There's uh, two big games coming up against Mesa. It's a big rival, and then Western also, which we can never take lightly. So. Just make sure we're staying focused during practice and come out ready to play next week. Just got to take it one game at a time and protect the home court. Pretty unique opportunity for us. We're playing the three geographical rivals to our school, uh, three games in a row, all before the break. And of course, with the Adams and then Mesa from Grand Junction and Western from Gunnison. So we're playing all three of our, uh, I'd say, our, our rivals geographically in a row. Perfect. Thanks, fellas.